everyone! Welcome to another episode of GTV and today we have another inspiring mompreneur. Her name is Aika. She is the founder of Wenya. So before we get to meet Aika, for those of you who are new to this channel, please like, share, subscribe, and click on that notification bell for more videos like this. So come and let's meet Aika! Hi, Aika! How are you? Hi, Ginger. I'm good. How are you? We're good. We're just here inside the house, like Thank everyone you. else. <laughs> yeah, so, so I invited you today because you have a really interesting business. You know? so, uh, but before we jump into that, maybe uh, you could share something with our viewers about yourself. You could tell them about yourself. Um, so, I'm Aika Ko. I'm a mom of two. I have an eight-year-old daughter and a six-year-old son. Um, they both go to the same school. And uh, I run a small startup business lo of a local brand called Duenya. So yeah, that's basically what I do every day. Okay, so so your business, you're running a business. Are you employed right now? I got, or is uh, that no, that, that's it. Yeah, oh, that's uh, cool. Duenya, full -time. it's my full-time. Yeah, and oh. motherhood. <laughs> nice, yes, and motherhood, which takes more time. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so tell us more about your brand, Wenya. Uh, Wenya is actually short for Dabao Wenya, because that's me, Dabao Wenya. I'm, I'm from Dabao, I grew up in Dabao. Um, it's a small, it's a startup brand of local, um, it's a lifestyle brand, so we cater to making bags, local bags, clothes, um, tablescape accents, and yeah, we work with different communities all over the country to make our products and make use of local products in creating our items. Nice! How did you get into this? And this is just you or do you have partners? Um, this is just me, actually. Um, it's, uh, I started when, yeah, I think 2007. It started by accident, actually. So when I started, I was looking for um, a specific type of bag. I was looking for a circle bag, okay. circle abaca bag. And then back then, I couldn't find any in our local stores. So I asked my sister-in-law, who was already working with a local community of weavers, if um, I can have the weavers make the bag design that I want. And then uh, to save on shipping, I, uh, I had them make a couple of pieces. And then um, the extra pieces, I'm so jahe naman to ask to, <laughs> to make a lot of friends na, oh, you want to buy So I posted yeah. them on Instagram and luckily um, they sold fast and then I got a few more orders and then I had that made again and tried different colorways and yeah, that's basically the start of wedding. <laughs> Oh wow, I love it from your own personal pain of <laughs> looking for a, a brown yeah. bag. So yeah. so what is the intention right now for your business? I'm sure that it grew from um from that need no, of having your own bag to something else. So maybe take us through that. So along the way we were able to meet um I was able to meet different communities. I was able to tap and partner with different communities to make different items. Like before we started out with bags and now we were able to um, tap different communities like the one who makes um, up this one, the, the fa oh, nice. different fabric, total fabrics. Yeah. So uh, we work with the different communities from Ilocos and uh, recently yeah. we were having fabrics weaved in Bohol. So there, along the way, we were able to tap more communities and I realized, okay, this is ju beyond um, just doing business. It's really like sustaining livelihood of different communities and promoting the items that we have all over the country. So there, so continuing, moving forward, that became, that became the focus of our advocacy to com continue to provide livelihood to different communities in our country. Wow, that's amazing. How about dur during this pandemic, Aika? Like, how do you look for these communities now? Or are you just Muna sustaining the communities that you've been helping out? Actually, we try to sustain the communities that uh, we've partnered with. Because, you know, there are different challenges that we face during the pandemic. Like, uh, 
um, since bag um, sales dramatically dropped during the pandemic. So we had to come up with different items to, you know, to keep them working, to keep them bus- busy. So for our bag weavers, uh, we had them, uh, I, I designed tablescape accents and like placemats and posters and um, dish mats. So instead of weaving bags, they weave these place mats for us and dish mats. And then to sustain naman the livelihood of our wood craftsmen, the one who makes our the handles of our bags, yeah, we had um, I had them make um, dish risers and egg stand. So you know they continue to have income, and we're just thankful for the support of our clients, old and new, for you know for supporting whatever products that we come up with. Yeah. So it's just you. It's just you like designing all of these new products. Yeah, actually, I design out of need. <laughs> the things I that I want, it. couldn't find elsewhere. So I just design them. And okay, I'll make multiples of this and see if it will sell. And if it doesn't, I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> so, so I love your design principle. <laughs> okay, so like, how do you sell right now? Like, I used to see you in bazaars, like mm-hmm. some of those pop-up shops. Yeah. So, our pop-up so now we're just focusing on our Instagram account and our website is of a big help in you know showing off showing our products. So basically that's it. We're just doing online right now. So what are the challenges that you've encountered along the way? I'm sure like the pandemic like brought about a big challenge. But uh, other than that, are there any challenges that you can think of? Well, of course, um, the usual challenges that any business would face, like staff, um, the staff would want to, uh, like during the pandemic, some of our staff are scared to come in the office. So we have to shift to, you know, to model our our um, business to be able to fit their, the lifestyle that they would want and continue yeah. the business as well. And then communication and also shipping during the pandemic is hard also to be well before i would i'm able to go to the provinces and really um show my um uh, designs to the community yeah. and that right then and there we can improve the product so now it takes longer because i will have to send them the picture and then we'll have to make the model and ship to me and then you know we'll do the revision and then do a, do, uh, do another model do another prototype so you know some challenges but we're able luckily we're able to sustain them despite all the challenges that's nice to hear so in terms of being a mompreneur like how has it been how has it been like becoming like a mompreneur i know that you used to be a teacher am i right yeah, yeah. yeah so like how is the shift and what's the difference right now of you running your own business and managing a household actually um time management wise it's kind of uh the same because when i when i used to work in the preschool i run my own preschool for 10 years Mm -hmm. so um before having kids i already uh, run my own business so i know how to like manage my own time then also of course come motherhood but my priorities shifted so um actually it's very timely when i um, opened when uh, when i opened when that was the time when my my eldest pipa <laughs> yeah. going to the school so i really thought of um selling my school selling my shares in the school because um running a school will take so much of your time it's really like you have to be there to see the kids and to meet the parents and when people went to the big school i thought okay i need to free up my time so i can bring my daughter to school and bring Mm -hmm. her back you know with all the traffic (laughs) it will really like consume your day you will like prepare the kids for school and bring them into all so there, um, I started the one, yeah, and um, yeah, at least uh, in retail, you're able to manage your own time. You can work in the in the traffic or while waiting for the kids. Yeah, you know, there's not really a specific space or location where you have to be, to be able to design or run the business. Yeah. So that's great. So in terms of like the your outlook, no, or your like the plans for Wenya, yeah? what what are the plans that you have? Uh, for your business? Well, um, honestly, I'm not really uh, 
a business person. <laughs> so yeah. the main goal right now is to stay afloat <laughs> yeah. with all the challenges of the pandemic and to be able to sustain the sustain the livelihood and uh, the work that we provide the people who are connected to the business, you know, the staff and our partner communities. And hopefully eventually if we're able to grow the business and we when we go back to normal, mm-hmm. you know, we're we're really looking into Um, uh, we're really looking forward to going back to normal eventually yeah. after the pandemic. Well, hopefully the business will take off because then we will be able to tap more communities and provide more livelihood for other communities in the country. Uh, maybe share lessons also, Aika. Like, I guess one of the things that I'm interested to know is like, what are the lessons that you've gathered along the way? Um, with Banya or yeah, with with being a mompreneur, yeah, maybe you no know, um, both actually. Yeah, well, actually, being a mompreneur will and en- will encourage you to improve yourself in so many ways, you know, because uh, running your own business, uh, the demands of running a business, and the challenges and joys of motherhood, you know, there each world is has their own challenges and it's no easy easy fit yeah <laughs> because um, yeah they will demand their time so it really requires you to be more um effective in managing your time and be more, be more organized so that you're able to do um more things um at the required time yeah and also be, it requires it um encourages to be encourages you to become more appreciative of the people around you yeah. because you, it's very humbling like to know that you can't do everything by yourself you just have to know when and where to look for help or seek help um when you need that extra hand so yeah that's it oh very nice lessons yeah definitely no we always need the support of others mm-hmm. and i really admire you because like you're helping a lot of people with this business Plus, yeah, and a lot of communities. No? So, how about you? What What is your proudest moment as a mompreneur? Mm, actually, I haven't really thought of that. <laughs> yeah. my proudest moment. Actually, the the daily, uh, you know, the daily wins of being able to balance your time with your business and yeah. uh, homeschooling. That's that's a proud I love it. <laughs> every day to celebrate. <laughs> I love it. You're so practical, Aika. Like, yeah, and 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 as a mompreneur, those daily wins, it's actually it results to like big things, no? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really you, something to celebrate. <laughs> it's something to celebrate. Exactly, that's true. Yeah. So, so please invite them. Thank you, Aika, for sharing your experience and your you knowledge. Thank you for letting. Uh, yeah. Any any like final message or tips that you want to share with those who are aspiring mompreneurs because I know that there are a lot of people like who want to be in your possession also like um, thinking of starting a retail business well maybe um, for those who want to start just um, learn learn and improve on your craft you know it's never too late to start something that you're interested uh, interested on And also for those who, uh, for all the mompreneurs, you just keep going, you know, because your kids look up to you and you inspire them. And who knows who other people you inspire by just doing the things that you love to do. So, yeah. Wow, very well said. Thank you, Aika. Please share yeah. your links, your website. You want to mention your website and your social um, media account. Yeah, just, uh, you can visit, uh, for those who are interested in our brand, you can visit us at wenya.ph. Uh, that's our Instagram and that's our website also, www.wenya.ph. Okay, so we will leave those links also in the show notes below so that people can click on those links. All right, thank, thank you so you. much, Aika. Thank you, Tinker. Nice talking to you. Yes, you too. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us for another episode. Uh, I'm here in GTV for Business Over Coffee. If you know any um, small business owner or any mompreneur who wants to feature their services, please, please, please feel free to comment down below so that I can get to meet them so that we can all learn and 
uh, learn from their experience and hear from them. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye!